And we are live. Hello, hello, James Dan from Inner Anthem. And I have a question for you today. Are your mornings causing you to miss out on successful days? Are your mornings causing you to be less productive during the day, get less results? You see, a while back or a few years ago, I got into personal development and I heard about this concept of morning routines and I heard that successful people did them, be it uh, life coaches, mindset coaches, uh, billionaires, you know, successful entrepreneurs, athletes, elite athletes. I heard about all these people doing this thing called a, a morning routine. And for me, I thought that sounds interesting, but I don't know that I'll be able to commit to it because I liked the snooze button. I liked my bed and my duvet. I didn't want to get out of bed and, you know, wake up at five o'clock in the morning to do this morning routine. But here's what I found. To start with, you don't have to get up at five o'clock every day. So I created a routine that worked for me, which meant I didn't have to get up hours earlier. In fact, I just started getting up a few minutes earlier and I committed to it. And what I can absolutely with certainty say is morning routine has been one of those things that has really helped me along my journey. Because here's the thing. If you start off your day unsuccessfully, then guess what happens to the rest of your day? For example, have you ever stubbed your toe when you've woken up? You stubbed your toe um, and you just say, oh, it's going to be one of those days and the kids are crying and, you know, it's all stressful situations. We're running late for work. Uh, and then, of course, you know, we're, we're in traffic and the traffic's bad, you know, and it just piles up, doesn't it? All this negativity, all this negativity. But it starts from the moment, moment you wake up. If you're waking up thinking, oh, I'm not looking forward to this day and you have an instant failure, which is not getting up and doing something productive, which is not doing a morning routine, which is hitting the snooze button when you know you should be getting up. Think about how that affects your mind. You know that you, you found that. You know that you're, you're feeling guilty. You're feeling ashamed. You know that you, you should be doing some more stuff, being more productive, but you don't do it. So that's setting you up for a less successful day. I now look forward to my morning routines. My morning routines are really important for me. And being a family man, being a father, being a husband to wife who often goes out running in the mornings, I have to juggle my morning routine around. It isn't always perfect. Sometimes I have to attend to my children before I actually do that morning routine. So it isn't always ideal. It isn't always perfect. I might've been up during the night due to my son, et cetera, but I do something and I look forward to it now because I've created ways of ensuring that I get benefits from it and they're, they're enjoyable. So my question to you is, do you have a specific morning routine, which now you have a morning routine. Let me just point this out. You have a morning routine. If you brush your teeth every morning, that's part of your morning routine. If you have breakfast every morning, that's part of your routine. If you have a shower every morning, that's part of your routine. So you have a routine, but do you have a specific conscious morning routine that is designed to increase your positivity, to make you feel good? to enhance your mindset? Is it designed for those things? So it could be things such as, what are you grateful for in the mornings? It could be writing a gratitude list or thinking about what you're grateful for. It could be meditating. It could be visualizing and focusing on how you want your day to pan out or how you want the next five years to pan out or your future goals. It could be looking at what goals you have for today or in the future. It could be a whole range of things. It could be exercise. Nutrition is part of it as well. You know, I, I make sure I have a, a, a bottle of water beside my bed and I consume quite a bit of water as soon as I wake up to rehydrate me. So do you have a good and effective morning routine? I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to find out what your morning routine entails. I've also got a product coming out or, or depending upon when you watch this might already be available called the Essential Morning Routine Kit because a lot of what I found was I was searching for this and searching for that, searching for things on YouTube, to, to try and get them organized for my morning routine. And I've just created a load of resources and put them in one place. So that is another little tip for you. Make sure you have everything ready. So 
As I go to bed in the evening, I get out my gratitude journal. I, I make sure my phone's available. I get out my, my earphones so that I can listen to bits ready for the morning. I have a pen, so I'm all ready. I'm all prepared for the morning. If you want to exercise, maybe get your trainers ready. If you're going outside, maybe get your exercise clothes ready. You know, have it all prepared the night before. There's another tip. But I'd love to hear about what you're doing in your morning because research shows that when you have those people who have a productive morning routine are more productive during the day and guess what if you have a more productive day times that by 365 or however many days you want to work during the year and think about how many more results you're going to get your better results how you will have enhanced your life just through having that morning routine, which leads to that more productive day. It leads to a better mental state. So I'll be following up with some other videos about this, but you know, this was a big insight for me. And you know what? I realized that I could do it. You don't have to get up at four o'clock every day. It is possible to have a very short morning routine that will still be effective and will still benefit you. So I would love to hear from you and find out uh, what it is you actually do and in the meantime if i can serve you at all let me know uh you know like the, these these posts uh, make sure you comment ask me any questions you like and i will get back to you my name is james dan from inner anthem have an amazing day and um yeah start that morning routine from tomorrow <laughs>